Well, thanks for being with me today as we spend a couple of minutes in the Word of God for our daily devotional. If you have your Bibles, turn to 2 Timothy chapter 1, and we're going to start in verse 6. Let's pray together. God, I know today that uh, there just are many spiritual gifts that are represented by those who are listening. And Father, I pray that uh, not one of those gifts would go unused, but uh, we would just really step into the journey that you have for us in discovering this exciting life of being used by you. In Jesus' name, amen. Paul says to Timothy, and just remember, I mean, at this point in time, Timothy's still a young guy, but I would say he's a, he's a seasoned minister, right? I mean, he's, this is um, serving God is not an unknown to him. He didn't just like, he didn't just start serving God. He'd been around serving God for a while in some really, you know, intense capacities. I mean, he was pastoring the church of Ephesus, which was one of the biggest gatherings of God's people in one of the biggest and most sinful cities of the day. And all, all that matters because, check this out, he says, Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. And then such an important verse, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So, you know, sometimes verse 7, which is a great verse, right? We, we kind of pull verse 7 out and we use it in all sorts of different ways. Maybe, I mean, maybe we're struggling with fear in a relationship, or maybe, you know, we have financial issues, and so we're struggling with fear and financial issues, and whatever. You know, I'm sure you've heard, or you yourself have rem reminded yourself, or you've been reminded in those moments of fear of this verse, man, God has not given us a spirit of fear, or a phobia, right, is the Greek word, but a power of love, and and of a sound mind thinking the way that God thinks. And, and all that's true, right? All of, that's a great verse to be able to apply to yourself when you're struggling with fear. But the context of the verse is dealing with spiritual gifts. So really what Paul is saying is, Timothy, remember, um, you have been given a spiritual gift. And it came through the laying on of my hands. There was a moment, and it, it probably looks something like this. We don't know for sure, but there was probably a prayer meeting. Uh, people gathered together to, to pray. Fall, Paul felt compelled to put his hands on Timothy and to pray for him. And there must have been some prophetic word that was spoken over Timothy's life that revealed a spiritual gift that was in him. Like this really definite, undeniable moment. That doesn't always happen, right? I mean, it happened for Timothy. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes we're not necessarily sure what our, our gifts are. But Paul says to this guy who's like a seasoned leader in the church, he says, don't, you know, make sure, let me phrase it a different way, make sure you stir the gift of God that is in you. Make sure you stir it up. The, the wording historically was used when you would add kindling to a fire to really get it rolling again. Maybe a fire is just a, about to go out. And so, you know, you've got to get some stuff that's going to burn really quickly um, to add to that fire so that you can get the smoldering fire back to a roaring fire. So stir your gift up to the place where it is in full operation. And Timothy, don't be afraid, right? Don't back down from that. Don't shy away from it. Don't bury your gift. Don't, you know, set it aside. Don't allow yourself to be distracted from this key thing that God wants to do in your life. So let me just say that a lot of times uh, our spiritual gifts go unused because we're afraid to take steps of faith. Maybe we don't know what our spiritual gift is and so we're just confused. And so we hear an exhortation from a pastor, hey, just start serving God. You know, take steps of faith. and. And as you take steps of faith, the gifting that God has placed in you is going to become clearer. Uh, maybe for some of us, we know, and maybe we've gone through an incident, you know, and it's just been a challenging circumstance of adversity that has caused us to back away. And I really, really, if this is you, I want you to hear me today, okay? It, that circumstance, the difficulty or the adversity of it has caused you to back away and the devil has been speaking to you saying, you know what, God doesn't use you. 
Um, this is what happens when you take steps of faith. It's, it's always going to be pain and difficulty. He will leverage that adversity to get you to a place where you pull back in fear and stop using the gift that God has given to you so that that fire that once was blazing in your heart and life is reduced to just a just the smoldering thing, right? You're not really on fire like you were any longer. And so the, whatever the case may be, the word for you today is this, take a step of faith, stir up the gift. You know, believe that as you take steps of faith that God is going to, to activate that spiritual gift that is in you and He's going to use it for His glory and for your joy. Because one day, you and I will stand before God and we'll give an account, right, of what we did with the spiritual gift that He placed in our lives. And for sure, we want to hear Him say, well done, good and faithful servant. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. God bless you.